Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to All Force e Learning app. Right? I am Anil Kumar, before you, teacher of English for All Force group of institutions here. So, in the last three sessions, we have been dealing sixth English. Sixth English Unit 1 A reading was discussed, the exercises of A reading were discussed and we also started with the B reading and successfully finished with the section 3 B reading yesterday, right. Now in this session, I want to brief you just the briefing of the C reading that is grand contest in the forest and dear students you remember one thing C reading is an extensive reading and it is a part of the students it's a student's task in fact right it is meant for enhancing the ability of reading in the students I repeat it is just to improve the reading ability in the students so my dear students please focus stay focus here I just want to brief you so I am giving you the briefing of this particular C reading, then later on you open the textbook and you have the fun with the reading, you follow all the norms of reading and have a great experience of reading. Right, so to make it clear to you, grand contest in the forest C reading, what exactly is the story about and uh, as you know very well the unit one is meant for peace and harmony I was stating the same thing you could find even in B reading that is the poem the I want peace and C reading it is again contest wherein we have taken the nature into the right uh, like our discussion here if you take the nature into the discussion what is the contest what is the competition that they are going to hold there? If you look at, right, it is all the competition held by the great one. Great one, when you look at, it may be the lot of fire, water, lot of wind, lot of sun. Okay. So, lot of fire, lot of water, lot of wind, lot of sun. They are holding the great one we call, the great one holds a competition. In that competition, right, what is that the elements of the nature have to do? They have to impress. They have to offer something to this nature and as a process of that, these all come forward. Now, for example, if you take laburnum and one thing, my dear students here, you have to remember, it's not only the animals. It's not only the birds, it's, it's also about the trees, it's also about the plants, flowers, right? Every aspect of the nature here, right? Both the flowers, plants and animals are included here. And Labanum is one of such flowers, right? It's almost like sunflower. It wanted to shine brightly with the glistening colors and want to impress the great one. So Gulmohar has come with its own strategies. Mango tree has come to offer a lot many mangoes. Palash wanted to set a blaze in the sense burn the things surrounding and make every surrounding or the ambience so shiny. In that way, all these have come forward. Everything was fine. But what exactly is the problem? It was the problem for this tiny creature squirrel. So all the creatures, maybe you call lark, peacock, elephant, bear. They didn't have any sort of problem, but it is only the squirrel who had the problem. What was the problem with squirrel? Squirrel, as it is a tiny creature, like other elements of nature, it could not collect, right, the impressive things to impress this great one. So the day has come. The day of contest has come. All these elements of nature have united. They have joined, right? They were trying to exhibit, they were trying to showcase whatever they are trying to, or whatever they have collected and they wanted to offer. So it was a turn of squirrel. Squirrel could not move even a single step forward. Then the great one was asking squirrel, Oh my dear squirrel, why are you stepping back? Why don't you come forward, right? Then squirrel has come forward and was answering that it could not collect anything because it was just a tiny creature. Then the great one asked whatever it had collected as it to bring then squirrel you know it was just rushing and went to the hole of a tree and collected right so some nuts whatever the nuts that it could collect it brought all the things to the great one then great one by looking at that nuts was impressed or not impressed is a question mark I'm not going to explain this here. Here, this conclusion part, you all have to read. And my dear students, please remember this great one's response, right? Who is the winner in this grand contest in the fire? You people have to trace out. That's the reason I left this answer with a question. Who is the winner and why? Right? Is the squirrel winner or not or loser? 
or else who is other the winner right if others are winners why are they the winners you have to find it out right so as it is extensive reading c part i'm not going to conclude i'm not going to conclude if you want the answer for this so stay up to the last second of this video you may get at any point of time and you also have reading so components i have written when you are going with this c reading please remember reading is an important skill that every student has to groom and nourish and master especially in this particular tender age only if not over a period of time the voice modulation would not take place vocalization becomes very difficult for the students see be focused with these components while you read the text pronunciation part be very close to the native speakers as you listen to english news as you listen to bbc news as you listen to ngtv news so sit a focus right try to pronunciate each and every sound pattern so as they have then pauses required pauses you are supposed to take whenever you have commas minute pause whenever you have full stop sufficient pause you take then pitch it should not be too high it should not be too low see that it should be moderate and should not be troublesome for the opposite person who listen to you then pace pace in the sense the speed of the words the flow of the words that you are trying to utter or articulate never make it very fast so see that moderate pace intonation important part this is intonation in the sense right ups and downs in the language we call ups and downs for example if you want to speak something ecstatic or happy moment automatically the change of the voice would be there so for example hey i'm going to the party i say with a rising tone whereas the sad tone oh my god i lost my bike i lost my bike so you can just see the falling tone so rising tone and falling tone are very important that comes under intonation next you see tone tone here not this tone what we spoke now here tone in the sense the inner voice of the speaker who has given you the text what is his intention is the tone of the text sad right each and every sentence speaks the inner sense of the speaker so focus on that content what is the stuff that is included about what is the text then grammar of course grammar when you look at the tense of the total text you focus uh, parts of speech of the words you focus any other grammatical important component you people have to learn right try to focus so c reading is meant to enhance your reading skills so focus with the reading skills read with the uh, focus on these components only and this is a brief story right so now after finishing this session read it and find out the answer for this right thank you right successfully unit 1 you, we have done and here let us now slightly slowly move to the unit 2 unit 2 here and unit 1 as we discussed peace and harmony was the main theme and unit 2 a b c reading similarly we do have and unit 2 abc reading if you look at the major focus and the holistic focus is on right our state telangana here right so i repeat our state telangana is focus here in the a reading and b reading also about the hyderabad the beauty and c reading about the great poet bhamira photana of again telangana so here you look at all the a b c readings of second unit the major focus is on telangana and as you all know my dear students here the title of this particular chapter if you look at the chapter name a reading telangana the pride of the people is it really the pride of the people so why do we have to feel very much proud of right our telangana being a telanganaite right why do we have to feel right if you observe one thing my dear there 2nd june here 2nd june 2014 2014 is it really a red letter day is it really a day wherein it has created history in the history of the telangana is it a historic day yes for every telangana night it is a historic day why do you think that now based on this particular day itself our total chapter discussion would be based so before going into the depth of the chapter let us know some brief facts of this telangana as we all know as of today whatever we are looking at telangana before this it was way back somewhere in 1950s peasants have started the movement they have advocated for the separation of telangana from andhra pradesh 
right since then from 1950s to 2014 almost if you look at 64 years right rigorous struggle has been made maybe by the politicians maybe by the freedom fighters maybe by the students maybe by the common people what not every section of society so the people had their own causes for the separate telangana got it so they claim for something they had their own allegations right upon the people of other section of society let us see let us see the uh, end and the consequence and the result what exactly happened by 2nd june 2014 it is very clear that so 20 as a 29th state central government has declared telangana as a separate state we all know now as of now this movement if you look at 33 districts we do have here in the telangana state so let us learn something more before going into the Telangana's chapter now. Here our official state emblem if you look right Kakatiya Thoranam Charminar. So some brief information the fact sheet you call official state but you look at this is Palapitta uh, Indian roller or blue jay we call. Official state tree Jamichetu Prosopis and Cineraria is a scientific name there. Flower Thangedupavu sport kabaddi fruit mango river godavari so this is just a fact file and only couple of things are collected but lot much wealthy and rich information we do have regarding telangana can i list out all the things here right so rather than listing all these things our author has done in the textbook in a reading we have got very good fact file we have got very good rich information about this telangana state so let us go to the telangana districts let us, let us go to the uh, depth of the chapter that is mentioned here so the purpose of introducing this particular chapter is to enhance the glory of telangana to enhance the grandeur majesty of telangana and here we all have to amplify intensify and magnify so to understand telangana because it is something the pride of the people so let us think of this thing by starting the discussion of our chapter now well my dear students so if we understand now the chapter's point of view let us understand the eminence the majesty the grandeur, the splendor of our Telangana. So let us understand from this chapter's point of view. If, right, to make it very clear, they have introduced four characters here. The conversation among these characters is our chapter now. Now, if you look at Kiran, Kiran plays the role of a son and Hari plays the role of a dad. Lakshmi, mom, Hindu sister so these are the names and the conversation is going on so in the discussion in the start of our chapter what exactly happens right dad and son so dad was sitting who is dad here Hari Hari was sitting very comfortably in the armchair when he was sitting in the armchair suddenly he became a very very much emotional when he has become emotional then immediately son rushed to him who Kiran Oh, dad, what exactly happened? Then you can just see the first sentence. Just I will read you the first sentence for you. Dad, what is special in the news? Why are you so emotional? Kiran asked. Then today is a red letter day. What did dad say? Red letter day. Let me write you here. Red letter day. In the first slide, we were discussing the same. Right? Red letter day. So, which day is red letter day? Because in the last slide, you have seen that 2nd June. You remember? 2nd June was a red letter day. So, why is it red letter day is a big question. Then, you know, son was asking all the questions now. The conversation, in the form of conversation, right? The clear information, the fact sheet of Telangana is before you now. Now, if you see... When the father was very much emotional, immediately son asked, Why dear father, why are you so emotional in the sense father starts explaining. So, brief history of Telangana was explained by the father to son. So, father says that it has been all the way back, right, 1950s started with the peasants, right, many people have sacrificed their lives, right, we call martyrs, right, all the people who were sacrificing their lives, they were dreaming of a bright future for Telangana. So, they had their own causes as I was suggesting. So, what's so great about Telangana then son was asking the questions then when 
uh, son asked the question father's answers were like employment opportunities so when if at all a state is divided based on the state right a number of seats that are there for the employees number of jobs that can be given to the employees would be improved employment opportunities would be there and even lot of development in overall sectors would be there because state fund would be separately released as we all know so overall development within our state can be made then father was also saying that culture revival culture revival what is revival see in the very first chapter if you remember a reading we were um, mentioning this word revival re establishment or restoration why was there the peace restored what made happily uh, actually uh, when jackal trouble later on when sadhu help the revival took place in the similar way here also culture is to be revived in the sense the present day if you look at i mean when the before the uh, before this red letter day if you look at the culture which the telangana people had right was not respected in fact there they require the revival of the culture what is culture culture in the sense the ideas the customs the traditions the beliefs of a particular people or society you call it as culture it's simple like lifestyle so lifestyle of telanganaids it's different from that of andraids according to the belief right so they wanted to revive their own culture what father says to son is like these are all some of the benefits he also says that language revival language revival in the sense language was also not respected according to the father according to the text language was also not given lot of prominence earlier it was not chosen as the official language official language when you call maybe books you call maybe news you call maybe print media you call electronic media you call or even in the movies right you didn't find anywhere language so there should be the revival of language also then father was suggesting to son that all such benefits would be there my dear son then for son was asking so language in the sense oh my dear father even we speak telugu andhra region people speak telugu then what is the difference in the sense then father was giving dialect there is a difference in the dialect it's not the difference of language dialect so we all know very well so if if you look at only one language a region specific royal sima region people have one accent uh, you can't call accent in fact you can call dialect a bent of voice you call particular form specific to region or social group and the people even in telangana if you take right so northern telangana southern telangana so the people varying in that places so region specific bent of sound what we have is called a dialect then so father makes it clear that so the language dialect our dialect is different but ultimately language is telugu only then then the discussion starts now what happens now mom and son they started discussing the festivals then here if you look at language dialect language dialect when it was discussed father also said that not only the language my dear son even lot many festivals we used to have i repeat even lot many festivals we used to have what did father say just i'll read the sentences for you here uh, what are the types of festivals of our state dad kiran asked for that you see we celebrate the main festivals as well as the regional festivals festivals like bonalu batukamma and pirla pandaga right they reflect our life reflect our life in the sense our lifestyle is reflected through these festivals then uh, now son as son wanted to know some more information about these festivals now who has to come here now mom's entry now the discussion between mom and son so mom is the right person to explain the festivals to son who is son here right kiran mom lakshmi lakshmi started and started explaining about bonalu and my dear students bonalu right it's often heard word in telangana popular of telangana you know if you look at worldwide also bonalu is very popular what happens here right the people uh, with uh, like a sacred water they keep uh, they keep cooking a, a delicious food by taking the rice and jaggery in a ghatam ghatam is a specific pot design pot would be there so all the design that it would be made in that pot they cook the food that they wanna offer to mahankali a goddess so ultimately this process of bonalu ends by offering that ghatams to mahankali goddess there 
देर एंड्स द फेस्टिवल सो इट्स वेरी पॉप्युलर फेस्टिवल फॉर दैट्स यू लुक एट द वर्ड्स दैट आर मैंशन हियर माई डी स्टूडेंट्स हियर लाइक बोनालू और स्टेट फेस्टिवल इज सेलिब्रेटेड ड्यूरिंग आषाढ़म आषाढ़म वन इज आषाढ़म यू हैव टू थिंक दैट राइट प्रॉब्ली इट इज इन द मानसून सीजन एज थैंक्स गिविंग टू द गॉडेस महंकाली फॉर फुलफिलिंग आर विशेज वी प्रिपेयर राइस कुक विद मिल्क एंड जैगरी put it in a gatham and offer to the goddess then indu uh, kiran sister joined now now ultimately indu also joined in their discussion then the next discussion is about batukamma as we all know batukamma now the songs of batukamma have become very popular right in every wedding ceremonies also people are enjoying you know earlier batukamma songs were restricted only to a particular region never it was highlighted in media also i can say that right very very limited highlighting was there that's it but now batukamma festival in the sense it's like a rocking show worldwide i can say that right so the credit goes to the one who has brought this uh, what we call movement right not one i can say couple of people uh many many people who sacrifice martyrs the people who sacrifice right so the credit goes to all to make this batukamma festival very popular festival here what happens at the time so tangedu puvu as i was showing just now it is a state official flower so this forms the main component of batukammas what they do a stack of flowers stack of flowers in the sense like i have written some of the words here for you it's a pile of flowers a mound of flowers would be there so all the flowers would be stacked here piled then all these flowers they would be taken to the goddess they will be playing making the circles all the women uh, with the grand sarees right they decorate themselves very beautifully and it would be very much sacred festival sacred festival so they offer these batukammas at last after making the circles by singing melodious songs they take them to the river or pond or any stream and they leave them batukammas right there in the water that is immersing the batukammas we call there okay so immersing in the sense leaving uh, very sacredly so immersion is done batukammas immersion are done then the next question is about pirla pandaga so we do have pirla pandaga also here then dad and son dad comes into the discussion about the pirla pandaga here so what is pirla pandaga we all know very well that moharram moharram festival it shows the religious tolerance first of all so irrespective of the religion all the people especially in the villages right they keep joining they keep commuting they keep uniting right they keep exchanging the thoughts they celebrated the festival so pirlu all the pirlu would be made uh, right to stand and they have their own procession procession in the sense like a rally they keep taking on the roads right so after the rally after the procession is finished they have to take all the pirlu and immerse in the water here then there ends the pirla pandaga then look at my dear so when pirla pandaga this is all about festivals we learned now now just you look at dad and son conversation mom and son conversation dad and son conversation see i am trying to highlight two points here conversation from the story's point of view and the elite greatness of our telangana culture two things i want to highlight here two things if we look at uh, the conversation further the next it was the suggestion they given by mom and mom was trying to enlighten the son's knowledge here what is this mom was suggesting so mom was also highlighting mom was also contributing to the knowledge of her son by showing the information by sharing the information about the series of pochampalli series of gadwal narayan pet and sirisilla so what is so popular right they are very much attractive they are very much decorative impressive enthralling so all such they had unique features in fact and worldwide also most of the people try to i mean they prefer right they prefer the uh, sarees from these areas so that is they have the unique features right of fabricating the structure you call of fabricating the design you call then sirisilla sarees if you see it's a, it it has created a history it has created a record in fact like you call guinness record because the person who could weave the saree he could fit in a match box of this size that is the greatness of the people of sirisilla then you can think of the wooden toys 
mom was also saying that we do have nirmal so the wooden toys that are made in nirmal can attract any of the child so beautiful they are made so magnificent they are made so in that way mom was contributing from her side here then you think of dad now dad says about jatras you all know jatras specially samakka and saralamma jatra so samakka and saralamma jatra you all know very well that very recently it is proved that it has got the world record in right gathering at a time a very big crowd right the very good crowd of population very big crowd of population you call samakka saraka saralamma jatra has become so one of the popular thing and worlds it is in the world's ranking now and where is it medaram varangal district as you all know so people go with all the bonalu and people uh, go and meet uh, offer their prayers to the goddess samakka and saralamma there so there are trees so you all know the details of this jatra so see these are all uh, unique features of telangana what we are discussing in this chapter is like in the form of conversation we are discussing the unique features next so dad was also sharing some information about the places of attraction hyderabad so we are very much uh, familiar about hyderabad the capital city now right in hyderabad you take billa temple you take museums you take public places you call now you know it's very much uh, like it it has gained the cosmopolitan culture rather than metropolitan i can say that cosmopolitan culture also it has gained now alampur nagarjuna sagar sri rangapuram yadadri right bhadrachalam vemulawada right all these are some of them are sacred places right some of them are uh, picnic spots some of them are entertainment entertainment spots some of them are like rich in its own culture so what not every every feature see it takes ages my dear students to preserve the culture of a region so the same thing is done there now you look at so indu was sharing her experience with gold golconda fort probably in her school as an excursion trip they went to one of the museums nagarjuna sagar and next golconda fort she was sharing that in golconda fort she has seen even the prison wherein bakhtar ramdas was imprisoned so he, she also shared golconda fort information then is it the end no further some more information you can see here sun was sharing salarjang museum then what is that salajang museum he was asking then you all know very clearly my dear salajang museum it consists of all the antiques antiques when i call very old very precious things are still collected and you know one thing in the world it is also if you see national wide all over india only three museums have right wherein one person collecting many things in that one in the three museum salajang museum of hyderabad is one only one person only one roller collected lot many antique pieces there that are preserved in salajang museum now then mom was sharing about the information related to the poets so who are the poets here bammera photana kanchala gopanna right bammera photana you have kanchala gopanna you have here his kirtanas you know and bammera photana's bhagavatam we know and malliganti suri kaloji narayan rao very popular these are all dasharathi ramacharyulu dasharathi krishnamacharyulu all these are the greatest poets of telangana this land has given the birth to such great people right then dad dad was sharing again oggu katha we all know my dear oggu katha what is that it's a folklore singing we call folklore singing what is that they sing there right they'll be praising and narrating the information related to birappa and mallanna uh, gods right they believe in birappa and mallanna and uh, we also have ellanna ellanna mallanna and birappa so taking their names chanting their names narrating their names they keep on right singing the songs folklore one person comes first right goes back then other two person also imitate so it's a kind of uh, rhythmic pattern goes on that is oggu katha and it is very much peculiar it is very much uh, how can i say unique feature unique uh, song unique performance right that we have in telangana perini shiva tandavam as you know that the now it is an official dance of telangana what was this perivi perini shiva tandavam originally it was like an invocation invocation in the sense like an offer in kakatiya's dynasty in the history if we go the people the soldiers used to uh, perform this dance as an invocation to the goddess there so this perini shiva tandavam also has its own history my dear students right let me brief you one thing here 
at last dad says that right not one or two or three or four there are many things from all the dimensions maybe temples maybe languages maybe arts maybe culture maybe dressing maybe dances right maybe food habits what not in many things we do have our own unique features the only thing is we have to preserve this culture for the next generations and successfully that, that's the reason they, what he was saying father was sharing that that particular day 2nd june was a red letter day right we will have further discussion of the same chapter with the exercises with some more information added information in the next session my dear students right we will do with the exercises and some more additional information about the telangana state right meanwhile before meeting in the next session i request all the students to go with go with the textbook chapter which is before you and i also request all the students to collect some more information talk to your parents talk to your grandparents right so collect the worthy information about telangana what why exactly is it proud why do we have to feel proud of our telangana so collect the information then it would be very much useful for you people to understand the next session right till then bye wish you all the best